putting the most dangerous nunchucks to the test. Hi everyone, welcome back to another Scotty Karate video. Today we're going to be taking our most dangerous nunchucks and putting them to the test. If you haven't seen the last video that we posted showing how we made these dangerous nunchucks, you should check it out. I'll put a card up in the corner so you can check that video out. But today's video, we're doing some demos. So, how do these work? Are they worth making? Are they too heavy to use? These are all questions we're going to answer on today's episode of... Well, they work as nunchucks. I will say a few things, though. They are heavy. So, if you're looking to build up your wrist, your forearm strength, just your skills in general, this will do it. They are heavy. And by heavy, I don't mean they're 300 pounds. But they're good probably double or triple the weight of a regular pair of wooden nunchucks. So, it makes a big difference when you're moving them around. So, it's good probably to train with. And I've played with them a little bit, not terribly much, but enough to understand that a lot of tricks and flourishes, yeah, they're they're kind of hard to do with these. So you can do some wrist rolls, you can do some tricks, but the pure weight of them requires so much energy and force to flip them, a lot of that goes away. But outside of having a little fun, build up some strength anyway. How do they work as nunchucks? Does anything survive them? Will I hit these against something and these bend and crack and destroy immediately? I don't know. Let's find out. So our first contestant, a papaya. Papaya. What's Bruce Lee's favorite food? Papaya! Well, let's see if it can take the damage. The hit, as it were, from our new nunchucks. Round one. Fail! All right. So the first hit, a couple things. One, it did some damage. It's real soft, and it cracked. But the most notable is we had some fails. Two fails, actually. One, a little set up here failed. It ripped. And two, the duct tape around it ripped off. So, we fixed that, hopefully. We got a little more duct tape on here. Let's see if we can do some more damage. Let's do this. Round two. Ah! Well, I think we, uh, we did some more damage. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's about as squishy as it's going to get. So I think it's safe to say it lost. Well, let's keep going. If I can hit it. There it is. K.O. It's what we like to see. Carnage. <laughs> so far, our nunchucks have gone unscathed. So, nunchucks one, fruit zero. But, will that remain? Because now we're up with our most prickly of opponents. The pineapple. We have a history. Let's do this. Round one. <laughs> I, I do think it I, I think I think they won I think they won wow that did a lot of damage that's like almost the entire thing well okay then. there we go next challenger up acorn squash look at it it's cute it shouldn't be here but here we are 
Am I going to take it easy just because it's cute? Maybe. But are the Chucks? Let's find out. Round one. Ah. Ooh, it was nicked. See? See what happens when you're cute? The Chucks are scared of it. Took a little hunk out. Looks like a slice. That's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> but we won't let this stand. The Chuck's honors are at stake. Let's do this. Well, batter up. There it went. K.O. <laughs> well, it's in pieces over there. So I'm going to say Nunchucks win. Who's next? Next opponent calls himself a butternut squash. I don't know about that, but I do know you either go big or gourd. Let's do this. Round one. Ah. And yet again, a malfunction. So we're back. Got ourselves picked back up. But look at the damage we already hit. You can see the impact. Ow. Ow. I don't want that across my face. Lots of cracks. But still living. So, he thinks he's up for another round. Let's do this. Round two. <laughs> K.O. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I see your insides, bro. I see your insides. Let's get cracking with our final opponent, the coconut. He thinks he stands a chance, being all as hard as the human skull and such. Well, let's see how he does against the most dangerous nunchucks ever made. Round one. Yeah. Oh. Well, something tells me he's dead. Yo. Looks like he's got some breathing room. I don't like that. Let's do this. Round two. K.O. You win. He's dead. Well, as you can see, the test today were pretty conclusive. Nunchucks five. Fruit zero? None of you can hang? For shame. Well, what it is, it does pretty well. So, if you'd like to just take some pipes, some ends, chain, connect it to make yourself a minor device that you could hit things with if you like. Pretty simple and cheap. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked our video today and you have some suggestions for maybe a part two, something you might like to see, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you'd like to see me test these bad boys up against next. If you like the video, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell in the corner so you know my videos are posted each week. And the more you train, easier to fight. <laughs>